All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweshai, double honors to the sincere apostles and elders of the great most on who are my teachers, and peace and salutations to you brothers out there preaching this word in truth and sincerity. This is the brother Yahweh Sop with another lesson. Uh, and today, man, it's going to be another news and prophecy update. Um, just going into uh, spirits created for vengeance and then a quick update on what's going on around the world. All right. And everything that we're seeing happening right now, not only over here in America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great or the daughter of Babylon in the scriptures, um, but also all around the world. It's all a corner prophecy. All right. And if you are paying attention and you know that we are at the end of Esau, Edom's kingdom, Esau being the so-called white man and the ushering in of our kingdom, the kingdom of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, the kingdom of the Israelites which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and North American Indians. Because as we're seeing, the uh, so-called Jew over the, over there in the land of Israel is being exposed for being uh, false, all right, for being uh, the synagogue of Satan. And so uh, I have a few a few articles and a, a few uh, posts that I want to go ahead and get into. Lord, well, I can get into them all. But hey, there's so much that is going on, man, that... A, it, it's now high time to awake out of sleep, all right, pertaining to Romans 13. But before I get that, I want to grab this, the book of Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So this has all been pronounced from the beginning. All right. And if you're measuring the, the time diligently, you know that these signs are coming to pass, as well as what the wars and rumors of wars. All right. The sedition uh, among the people, the breaking it and entering in of one another, man. All right, we see Jacob's trouble uh, fast approaching. We see the MOTB, which we know uh, to be the RFID C hip, <clears throat> or the uh, uh, or the uh, uh, Neuralink. All right, and so it says, "For like is all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest." And that's right. That's what we're seeing. We're seeing the end being made manifest. And so it says in verse six, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. And that's right. So this is all being predestined. So Lord's will, we're not only called, but we're chosen. And so verse nine, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open up, uh, open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is and for whom the world is created. And that's right. So that's the whole goal is we see all this judgment happening. We know that it's it's from on high. It's from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. All right. And we know <clears throat> that the Most High has spake of these things from the beginning. All right. And he gave us he gave us warning since the since the beginning of time. To let us know when uh, this salvation was going to come. And right now we're seeing these effects and these signs. All right. And so, like I said, I have a few articles that I want to get into. Uh, the first one is going to be this one right here. Uh, it says another massive food chain uh, suddenly shuts down in Texas. It says uh, many people woke up this week and found out they were out of a job after the mega seafood chain Red Lobster abruptly shut the doors to nearly 50 stores with little to no notice. All right. And so it says, say goodbye to those delicious uh, little cheddar biscuits from Red Lobster. The seafood chain that's been around for more than five decades has shocked its employees by suddenly closing down. It says nearly 50 stores shut down this week, including several in Texas, College Station, Dallas, Houston, Lake Jackson, Longview, Lufkin, and Pasadena. 
Uh, it says one TikTok user dug deep into the situation and explained they cited they cited all you can eat shrimp as a main factor in the bank bankruptcy. And so it says the company's decision to offer all you can eat shrimp all day year round may have been their demise. More customers ordered the shrimp. However, they were eating more, staying longer and losing the, uh, the company money. And so pretty much the reason why all this is shutting down is because this was built up in wickedness. All right. And so real quick, I want to grab this, the book of Psalms, chapter 127. In verse one, and except and it reads, except Yahweh build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except Yahweh keep the city, the watchman waketh, but in vain. And that's right. So, except Yahweh build the house, they labor in vain that build it. So all this, all this work that Esau Edom has put into building up America and building it up in wickedness, at that, it it was all for naught. It was all in vain because eventually this place was destined to fall. You know, um, it. it it's all according to wickedness, and we know that when a place is, is built up in wickedness, matter of fact, let's grab this. Uh, God, the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, and it's so like it might be. Salakia, so bear with me. Uh, Oh, Salaki, Salaki, I'm completely thinking of the wrong book. It's in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8. And uh, I'm going to start at verse 11. And it says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil an hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear Yahweh, which fear before him. And what that means is that even though it seems like a sinner... It has his days prolonged, you know, uh, it seems like America has been around for quite some time. It, this is really one of the shortest kingdoms to exist. You know, America has only been in rulership for about 500 years, you know, and if you want to uh, break it, if you want to uh, really be technical with it, it's only been about maybe 200 to 100 years, you know, after after uh, everything that they did, the the. Uh, the World War uh, One, World War Two. That's really when they started uh, coming into power, and so it says, verse thirteen, uh, or Salakia, and then it says, "Yet yeah, surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear Yahweh, which fear before Him." And that's right, because even though it seems like the righteous are going to lose, we know that the end all be all of them is is the victory. And so it says, verse thirteen, "But it shall not be well with the wicked." Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before Yahweh. That's right. So it's not going to be well with the wicked. And that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing that his place, everything that he's built up, is starting to crumble from beneath him, man. All right. As it tells you in Job 20, that he, as he's about to fill his belly, he's going to be in straits. All right. And so this is all according to prophecy. And it's a, it's a beautiful thing to see because we know that. The end of Esau's kingdom means the beginning of ours. All right, meaning peace, safety, and righteousness, man. And so, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so it says, uh, Peru classifies transgender, non-binary, and intersex people as mentally ill. It says the Peruvian government has officially classified transgender, non-binary, and intersex people as mentally ill. The controversial decision was made up to ensure the country's public health services could guarantee full coverage and medical attention for mental health for the trans community, the Peruvian Health Ministry explained, according to the Telegraph. The decree was supposedly alter the language in, essential, in the Essentials Health Insurance Plan to reflect that trans and intersex people have a mental disorder, LGBTQ plus outlet pink uh, news reported. And so what we're also seeing at the same time of America's collapse, we're seeing that uh, these other countries are starting to disagree with the ways that America has ran things for a long time. All right. And so this is a uh, let's go ahead and jump to the book of Revelation. Chapter 17 and uh, 
Verse 17, and it reads, For Yahweh hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree, and give their kingdom unto the beast, until the words of Yahweh shall be fulfilled. And so what we're seeing right now is the words of Yahweh being fulfilled, man. All right, we're seeing, once again, we're seeing the uprise of the people. We're seeing, we're seeing, uh, we're seeing the wars and rumors of wars. All right, we're seeing, we're seeing, um, Russia be a guard unto those nations over there, man. We're seeing, we're seeing, uh, a civil war brewing up over here in America. This is all according to prophecy, man. And it, it's a beautiful thing. And so, um, so like I clicked on the wrong one, Mark. And so, uh, this is going to be the book of Mark chapter 13. And I'm going to start at verse 5. And Yahweh Shai answering them began to say, Take heed, lest any man deceive you. And that's right, take heed unto what the law, statutes, commandments, and to the words that are written in the Bible, man. And so it says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues ye shall be beaten, and ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony amongst them. And so we know that this is soon to come, because they're already outlawing, uh, out, outlawing the Bible. All right, And it's starting with that anti-Semitic bill that was just passed, uh, the H.R. 6090 bill. And so it says in verse 10, and the gospel must first be published among all nations when they shall lead you and deliver you up. Take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak. Neither do ye premeditate, but whatsoever shall be given you in the hour that speak ye. For it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. And that's right. So we're not even supposed to be worried about these things that are coming to pass and when they're going to deliver up, deliver us up to the councils. And we have to publish this word. We have to continue to bring this out. All right. And uh, the truth is the most important thing. And we know that the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, it, it, it leads unto it leads unto truth. As it tells you in Hebrews four, the most high, uh, the most high's word is quick and powerful, uh, cutting even to the, the uh, sunder of souls, you know, roughly paraphrasing. So this is all happening in accordance with prophecy. This is all being lined up. In accordance with prophecy, man, these these nations are no longer agreeing with the beast. All right, we're seeing the we're seeing the wars and rumors of wars. We're seeing nation rise up against nation. All right, and it's all it's all uh, it's all beautiful. All right, and so um, I want to go ahead and move on to my next one. And Salakia, if I, it seems like I'm moving real fast. All right, so this is a. Uh, it says a uh, mom mauled to death by a pack of dogs in front of kids just days before Mother's Day. It says Courtney Williams and the scene where Courtney Williams was fatally attacked by several dogs. A 35-year-old mother in Georgia was killed just days before Mother's Day after she was allegedly mauled to death by several dogs near her home. Courtney Williams, whose two children were also attacked by the animals, was found dead on Thursday afternoon. Authorities announced. According to a news release from the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, deputies with the Brooks County Sheriff's Office at about 4.45 p.m. on May 9th responded to a complaint regarding multiple minors being attacked by a dog outside of an address in the 2000 block of Webster Road in, in Quitman, Georgia. Quitman is located about 230 miles south of Atlanta. And so hey, this is this is a. Uh, why it's important that you fear the heavenly father Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. All right, because these things that happen unto these people, all right, like this mom, and, and it's actually her kids got uh, hurt as well. She had a, a son and a daughter with her, and they were attacked by the dogs as well. Now, uh, from what I read, the kids didn't die, but this mom ate the most high, went ahead and removed her spirit, man. All right. And so these things that happen, it's all for vengeance. It's all for judgment of the Heavenly Father. And so before I grab my next precept, uh, over here in Texas, it says, uh, Texas girl, four killed as mass gunmen attack her home in a brazen daylight shower of bullets. It says a four-year-old girl was killed after two gunmen in Texas armed with high caliber rifles opened fire on a home in the San Antonio area. A neighbor's security camera captured the shocking scene in full. 
excuse me, and uh, I watched the video, man, and they just, hey, they ran up, sprayed the house, and then dipped, man, and um, continuing it, it says the shooting on Wednesday night stunned the neighborhood and broke apart a family. I simply don't get it. Who does that exactly? April Luna, grandmother of the slain child, told local, local media outlets. All I want is my granddaughter. I want her to come back. The child's father and seven and eight year old brothers were also injured in the brazen assault. It says uh, it says Luna, who was inside the townhouse when the gunshot started, informed the television station that a three year old was there at the time, but was unharmed. Luna said it was just so loud and it just didn't stop. My granddaughter was the only thing I saw when I came downstairs. She was shot in the face by them. And so. Once again, this is why you have to fear the Heavenly Father and reverence him, all right, because he can cause these things to come upon you like like in, in sudden uh, suddenly, you know, and this happened in broad daylight. These people are getting more and more bold. All right. Um, wax cold. The book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's right. There was this uh, video I just watched as well. This man, he um, chased his girlfriend around a parking lot. And this guy, he was recording from his apartment. And he was uh, he was telling her, hey, leave her alone. He was telling the man, leave her alone, you know, um, and trying to tell the girl, like, come here. But the guy, uh, he just pulled out his pistol and shot her, man. Shot her like three or four times right in the face, man. You know, so a because iniquity shall abound, which whenever you get into that word iniquity, let's go ahead and grab it. Iniquity means hostility, malevolence, a hostile action, wickedness, unfavorable situation. And so that's what we're seeing. Hey, we're seeing wickedness. We're seeing unfavorable situations. They're increasing. All right, you're having people getting kicked out of their homes, becoming homeless. All right. They're losing their jobs, as we just seen. And uh, with this. Uh, whole uh what's it called a uh, red lobster um uh, restaurants being shut down man all right uh people getting tired and fed up of these well i would say specifically these men <laughs> getting tired of these women all right and, and what are they resorting to they're resorting to violence all right hostility malevolence all right and because because this is abounding a love of many is waxing cold people are no longer wanting to wanting to work things out you know, instead, they're just resorting straight to a, you know what, let's just can put you to death. You know, and that's a, this thing, these things are going to only get worse. So real quick, uh, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 39. And I'm going to go ahead and jump down to verse 28. And it says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of them, of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. And that's exactly what we're seeing, man. Fire, hell, famine and death all coming into this place. All right. And we're seeing it first happen around the whole world. All right. But now it's, it's really starting to touch down in America. All right. And we know that a hey, once it starts hitting this place and it starts getting worse and worse, we know that Esau, he doesn't have uh, too much more time, man. All right. This place is seriously about to fall all right and if you're not paying attention it well then you're going to get caught up in that judgment as well all right and for those of you who might say oh, well the, you know the most high doesn't you know he's not the one who does this just hey that's satan this is the book of amos chapter 3 and verse 6 shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people will not be afraid shall there be evil in a city and yahweh hath not done it and that's right because Pertaining to Isaiah 45, we know that the Most High creates evil. He creates good and evil. All right. And so all these all these uh, judgments are coming from on high, man. And so the Most High is starting to pour out his wrath upon the people. All right. He's starting to he's starting to allow these people to be taken by their own folly. He's starting to allow these people to to uh, kill each other. All right. To hate each other. All right. And, and to wax worse and worse because of the, the wickedness that they continue to commit. All right. And so from here, man, um, so like you close that, close that. All right. And uh, hey, this is a hey, this is all this is all the doing of the Heavenly Father, man. And so from here, I want to go ahead and jump into this uh, X feed real quick and then we'll go ahead and end it off. So if uh, you haven't heard the uh, 
Prime Minister of Slo uh, Slovakia has been shot. And so it says uh, this guy posted Chuck uh, Kalisto shock report just days ago. Slo Slovakia's Prime Minister rejected the WHO pandemic treaty. Today he was shot and I want to uh, say Slovakia if I'm pronouncing pronouncing this wrong. Uh, Bible shot forgive me. And so it says, uh, uh, breaking now, Prime Minister of Slovakia has been shot developing. Uh, Slovak politician Robert Fico is currently serving as the Prime Minister of Slovakia since 2023, having served previously from 2006 to 2010 and from 2012 to 2018. He founded the Direction Social Democracy Party in 1999 and has led the party since its foundation. And so just today, uh, he was uh, he was. Uh, shot man and um there's also more on it it says slovakia reject the who proposed pandemic accord only last week prime minister of slovakia robert fico gave this speech i also clearly declare that we slovakia democratic party will not support strengthening the powers of of the world health organization one study after another confirms the scandalous consequences of mass vaccination with experimental untested vaccines. If someone had a different opinion on vaccination against COVID, they were dangerous to, uh, to society. Today, he has been shot in public. As of yet, no motive for the attack has been given. And so, hey, these people are starting to reject uh, the devil and his doctrine, man. These people are starting to wake up and see that everything that this uh this devil has planned it's all nefarious man and so um this is going to be the book of isaiah chapter 29 and uh Verse 15, it says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? And we know that woe means destruction. So destruction unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh. And we know that the Heavenly Father's, a his eyes are ten times brighter than the sun, and he, a, and he dwells in darkness, you know, so he can see everything that this devil is being by, uh, doing behind closed doors. And what is he doing? A, he's, he's uncovering it. And so it says, verse 16, Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as a potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? And so now the the people are starting to wake up and see that everything that this man has told them, everything that this man has been teaching them, they're all lies, man. And it's all it's all to dumb them down and to and to destroy them. That's why you're having all these countries suddenly reject the U.S. and its doctrine. All right. And so jumping down to verse 20, it says, For the terrible one is, uh, is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off, that make a man an offender for a word, and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate, and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. And so we're seeing that everything that this man has been doing is, is being brought to naught. All right. And so I want to grab this precept as well, the book of Isaiah chapter 47 and verse I'll start at verse 1, and it reads, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, which were, were the Chaldeans known for. They were known for their witchcraft, all right, for their spells, for the things that they would cast, all right. And so it says, For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind mill. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. And so that's what we're seeing, man. Aid Esau's nakedness, Esau's shame being unseen. All the nefarious plans that he had uh, in behind closed doors are now being brought to light. The the NWO that he ultimately wants to implement. All right. We, we're seeing how he operates. All right. Anyone who disagrees with him, he put a he'll go and he'll put to death. All right. Um, any country that does that disagrees with them, what will it, what will he do? Hey, he'll sanction them. All right, and he'll do his best to turn the whole world against them. 
All right. But now because of social media, because of the Internet and because of the prophets out on the highways and hedges prophesying against this place, he's no longer able to do those things. All right. He's not able to hide himself. All right. Matter of fact, let's grab that. Uh, the book of Job, so like the book of Job, chapter 20 and verse 27. And it reads, the heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. And so that's what we're seeing, man. We're seeing that uh, the earth rising up against him and we're seeing his iniquity being revealed, man. All right. And it, it it's starting from the top, the elites, all the way down to the lowest, all the way down to the lowest Edomite that's in charge, man. All these guys are starting to be exposed. And why is that? Because it's coming from on high. The heavenly father hath already ordained for these things to happen. Okay. And so a word. So we're also seeing here. Uh, another post right here says Cubans wake up to find their bank accounts have been empty. Socialism, fantastic slogans, terrifying reality update. No mainstream confirmation so far. Closest is AP reporting long lines for ATM. And so it says uh, GM. Good morning. The banking system has collapsed in Cuba. Bank accounts have been emptied and no cash at ATMs. And why is that? Because ultimately they want to go ahead and implement that MOTB. All right, as we uh, as you should know, should I say, the Freemasons' uh, slogan "Order of Chaos," meaning order out of chaos. He wants to cause uh, the order to come out of this chaos by implementing the what the MOTB spoken about in Revelation 13. All right, he's gonna come with that solution. All right, uh, hey, you don't got cash, you don't got a way to support yourself. Well, let, we're gonna go ahead and, and give you this chip. But in order for you to receive this chip, you have to submit yourself unto a democracy. You have to submit yourself into unto the ways that we rule this world that we want this uh, world ran. You know, you have to you have to get um, you have to get the medicine that we prescribe to you. All right, you can't speak about, you can't speak bad against our government and so on and so forth. These things are coming, and these are steps being led into that. All right, and so. Um, let me see. I believe I had another one. Oh yeah, and then this, uh, <laughs> this, this demon right here, man. I believe this is a uh, Prince Charles or King Charles. Now he had a painting that was uh painted of him. All right, and it's originally just this, this, this part right here. It's this part right here, and so people are, uh, people were looking at it and wondering, like, hey, you know, what's what's going on right here, man. You know, this looks this. It looks like fire, you know, just at first glimpse, you know, you see his face. He's all in red. All right. It looks like it looks like fire. So people, they started looking into it. They put it together, you know, side by side. They, they did a mirror image. And this is what it came out to, man. Even before even before uh, you see uh, Baphomet, you can you can see the outline. And so this picture shows a shows it, it uh, pretty much outlines it even more about everything that's being seen, you know. And so a, they said, <laughs> so they all this truth is coming out about these about these de these devils, man. All right. And then you just had a, a barge has hit the Pelican Island Bridge in Galveston, Texas, causing a partial collapse. Chemicals from the barge are now flowing into the water. A, and so it says, um. This uh, comment right here says what's even more messed up than these events occurring is the fact most of us don't trust the government to tell us the truth about what's happening. Is this a coincidence or something nefarious? Do you trust the government to be honest uh, about it? And this guy said, I trust the government to be honest about precisely nothing. A and something I, that I've been recommending recently uh, even more heavily is first and foremost to do your own research to look into these things yourself but also never trust an enemy never trust this devil man let's go ahead and grab that because everything that he's been telling you is it's all been lies so the book of uh Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 10 and it reads never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusteth so is his wickedness Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. 
set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place, neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou at the last remember my words, and be pricked therewith, and so, hey, you can't, you can't trust this devil at all, everything that he says, me personally, you know, my, my own humble opinion, I immediately assume he's lying until I look into it myself, all right, everything that he says, I just don't trust anymore, man, because this devil, hey, he's been, he's been lying so much that now that his lies are being exposed, what is he doing? Hey, he's going to get, he's going to crack down with that great wrath. He's going to, he already implemented this anti-Semitism bill, all right, anyone who speaks against it, hey, guess what? They're going to be thrown in jail, all right, there's going to be, quote unquote, severe punishment, all right, his second, he's going to outlaw, uh, outlaw the Bible, all right, anyone who's speaking against the government, guess what? They will, they're, they're extremists, all right, they're, they're terrorists, they're, they're propagandists, spreading misinformation, all types of bywords against anyone, especially against the prophets of Yahweh Bashim uh, they're going to, they're going to go against, as we read in Mark, hey, they're going to deliver us up to, to the councils, they're going to deliver us up to these kings, and so it's important that you stay, stay on your watch, you stay on your guard, man. So with that, we'll go ahead and end it off on this. The book of 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. And it reads, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. And that's right. And that's what we're seeing. All these all these uh, operations that he's having in play, hey, he, he's wanting you to be tripped. All right, He wants you to eventually fall off. All right, And he, he's also setting up agents to enter into the camps, you know, to cause that division among the brethren, man. So, hey, you got to you gotta be sober, be vigilant, man. Make sure that you're keeping your watch, you're being on your guard, you're studying, you're putting all your trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And so it says, continuing it, First Peter 5 and 9, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are, are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So these things are happening to all the brothers worldwide, man. And so we must continue to be on our guard. We must continue to be on our watch. We must continue to trust in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And that's it. You know, everything else, a hey, take it with a grain of salt. Do your own research and continue moving forward. And Lord's will, we are not only called, but we're chosen. We get to enter into those chariots. All right. And we get saved and glorified with Yahweh Shai. And so with that being said, man, I pray that this lesson was edifying, uplifting of the spirit. Know that we are at the end. Know that this place is about to fall and we're about to inherit eternal glory, eternal peace and eternal salvation, man. But first, what must happen? The judgment. And so once again, I want to give all praises, honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And until the next time I say, Shalom.